Hi, I'm Shauna Lake with Deep in Talent Strategies, and I wanted to go live today to talk to you a little bit about networking. When you are in a job search or in our professional lives in general, a lot of us spend a lot of time networking and talking to people about what we do or what it is that we hope to do next in our career. And when you encounter people, I'm sure the reaction you get is very similar to what I've experienced, which is that people generally want to help you. They want to know how they can be a assistive and supportive of your career goals and your job search goals. So when people say, how can I help you? It's best to have an answer to the question. And I run into this a lot on um, the nature of being a career coach, career consultant, and a human resources consultant is that people will reach out to me to network and I want to assist them in, in, in whatever way that I can. So I will often say, how can I help you? And many times I hear, I don't know. And that's okay when you're talking to me because part of my job is to make sure that I can help people figure that out. And I'll show you a few tools um, that I use to do that. But when you're talking to other people in the professional world, you want to have that worked out so you can be clear about what it is that you need and you want. And then you can clearly articulate that and then they can help meet your needs and together you can further your goals in your career search or whatever it is you're trying to do. This comes into play a lot in sales professions as well. So let's talk about specifically how can you ask for help? And I've put together a little cheat sheet of depending on who you're speaking with, how you might want to approach that networking conversation. So asking for job search assistance, do so in the ways that your network is best equipped to help you. And the first category are professional networking groups and referrals to industry professionals. So if you've joined a professional networking group or you're talking to other professionals and they've made a referral to you to someone in your field of interest, um, but that, that individual is probably not actually hiring. They are just accepting that invitation, maybe as a friend of a friend or because they themselves have recently been in that position and they want to assist you and offer their support. So if you are speaking to someone who's an industry professional or a networking professional, they're not likely hiring. So you don't need to go in with a full sales pitch because they probably don't have a job to offer you. But you do need to be clear on what it is that you want and you need from them and who you may want to be introduced to, who it is that you'd like to meet in your job search. Ask for specific help with an introduction or a connection. So perhaps you want to, to meet someone inside of a specific company. Ask for whether or not they have a connection in that company. Be very specific. This is the category I fall into when I'm talking to potential job seekers or in some of the networking groups that I'm affiliated with. I will talk to individuals and say, you know, how, how can I help you? And when they say, I see on LinkedIn that you're connected to so-and-so at this company, would you mind facilitating an introduction? I am more than happy to do that. And I love it when somebody has something really specific that they're asking me for. When someone says, I don't know. Do you know anybody in the financial services sector? Well, yes, but that doesn't mean that um, that I have any specific companies in mind or that I know who's hiring. And then I have to work really hard then to try to to make a connection and see how you might fit into the companies that I know. So if I'm not feeling a warm connection to you, you yet or I'm really busy, I may not go that extra step to um, to work really hard to help help anticipate who might be a good introduction. So you really need to be clear and specific and tell me what it is that I can do for you. And that's going to be the case with just about anybody that you run into in the job search. The second category are business owners, executives, in-house recruiters, or HR leaders. These are folks who probably will be in a hiring position either now or later here, you want to be clear on the value you can bring to their organization. And this is where your elevator pitch is going to come in handy. And so your elevator pitch is a very short statement, 15 to 20 seconds, no more than 30 seconds about who you are, what you do, the value that you bring to the company. 
If you have seen my job search playbook, I have a script of a really solid uh, elevator pitch, and it also helps answer that tell me about yourself question. I'll put a link to that in the comments of this video so that you can see that script if that's helpful for you. And then I'm also going to show you a personal branding worksheet that may be able to help you build that elevator pitch if you're not quite sure where to start. It also helps you focus a uh, job search a little bit on the types of things that you might be interested in doing next in your career. So I will dive into that uh, worksheet in just a moment. So you don't want to oversell yourself when you're talking to the people that fall into this category because they may not have a position right now and you may feel um, they, they may feel like you're pressuring them a little bit if you come on a little too strong because right now they're still just trying to get to know who you are and see if they can help you. They may be thinking about referring you to somebody else in their industry and you're maybe hitting them a little too hard about hiring them within your within their company. So you're just gonna make sure that you, you kind of play that softly, have your elevator pitch ready in case it fits nicely into the conversation, but don't oversell. And what you're gonna ask here is for advice, advice on how to best network inside of their company, what trends they see in their industry, um, where they see the, the future of their company going, uh, what advice they have for somebody who wants to move in or up within their within their industry. So in the first category for people who aren't likely hiring, you're asking for specific help with introductions and connections. In this category, you're asking for advice. And then we move into the third category, which are your friends, colleagues, relatives, neighbors, and other long-term acquaintances. And this is going to be a pretty varied group of people, some that you may have known your entire life, some that you've just known for a few weeks or months. Some people are going to be um, you're going to have a very casual relationship with them, and some may still be a little bit more professional. So because of that and because you're still trying to put um, your best foot forward and be represent yourself for potential positions, you, you have no idea the people that you interact with in this category, if they're going to be in a position to influence a hiring decision now or at some point in the future. So you want to maintain professionalism and positivity about your, your uh, benefits that you bring to a potential company. You don't want to say anything negative about your previous employer. And this is the group of people that you might feel the most comfortable uh, being relaxed and, and being really forthcoming with, but you still need to be a bit measured because again, you have no idea if they're going to be able to influence a hiring decision or they themselves might be a hiring manager. So you want to have that elevator pitch ready for this group of people too, if it ever comes up naturally in a conversation. And you want to ask for specific help from people in this category. So these are people who might work inside of a company and because they know you well, they may personally endorse you for a position in their company and do a personal referral for you. So you want to make sure that they that you're clear that you have seen a, a position that's posted that you can tell them what it is that you can ask for a referral, that you can ask for advice on networking inside of the company, you can ask them to go to their human resources department and advocate for you. If you feel like they would do that and you have a good relationship with them, but be clear, just like with that first group of people um, and how you want to ask for help. And then I also listed here, be selective in how you seek other forms of support, because these are people who are probably very close to you in life, that they may be the people you confide in for all of the emotions that you're dealing with while you're in a job search or in life in general and all the ups and downs that we experience in every aspect of our life. I would just caution you if you're talking to someone who could influence a hiring decision that you still maintain some boundaries about the things that you say and how you say them, because that that's going to speak to who you are, to your character, to how you think about life, your at your work ethic, um, how positive your outlook is on the future of your professional life. So still be very selective in the kind of um, support and advice that you may seek from the people that fall into this third category. So I think I, I I'm hoping that that is helpful. I've had several conversations lately with people where I've said, how can I help you? And they haven't known how to answer that. So I wanted to put a few ideas on paper of maybe how you can specifically ask for help. And then if you aren't sure where to start in articulating your elevator pitch or what value you bring to a company, I have a personal branding worksheet that I'm happy to share with you. 
you, I'll walk through this quickly. It walks through who you are and what you do best, the kind of work environment and leadership style that brings out the best in you and um, where you can contribute inside of companies. And then we dive into what do you know? What can you do? What are your great achievements? What truly sets you apart? Um, what are some hard skills or job specific skills that you have? What are the soft skills that you bring to the position? What comes naturally to you? What do you enjoy? What makes you energized and motivated? What's your ideal work environment? What's your ideal leadership style? Um, job duties? Um, do you want like teams or coworkers? What kind of customers do you want to work with? There are some other tools listed here that are good resources. And then when you've gone through this questionnaire, and sometimes it's helpful to talk to friends and family and coworkers who know you well, to you can you should be able to list out your skills, your experience, your interests, your motivators, your personal attributes, and your accomplishments, and then take those keywords and build your elevator pitch. And again, I have a script for you in the job search playbook. So I hope that those tools give you a few new ways to think about articulating the value that you can bring to a business and learning how you can ask for specific help from the people who are best equipped to do that within your network. And if you have any questions or any other suggestions about networking, please share that inside of the group. If you're not yet a part of the Deepin Job Search Facebook group, I invite you to join us there. If you're feeling very brave, post a video of your elevator pitch and let us put comments or feedback. That may sound kind of scary, but it's the best way to refine it and make sure it's gonna be ready when you find yourself in those networking conversations. So I hope that you have a great day. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.